Hey guys, quick update. Uh, some of you will recall I made this stud uh, back when I had my lathe and I didn't have my mill. I couldn't make this plate. Uh, I couldn't make a replacement plate for a big 14 mil uh, bolt or stud. So I made this little guy and it's made out of 12L14 and it's held up great for a couple of years, but it finally died today. Uh, you can see I stripped the threads off the bottom here. These are 10 millimeter, I think. And I did that while trying to see how how deep of a cut I could take on some 1018. I successfully cut uh, two thousandths, or no, I'm sorry, two hundred thousandths, so 0 0.2 inches depth of cut. And I'll throw that f that footage on right after this. Uh, and I've been running at, uh, let's see, we're at two C, so that's two and a half thou per rev. I'm running at 300 RPM because at 560. Uh, I couldn't, I didn't seem to have enough torque. So I was running a little slower than I probably uh, needed to, but I did it because I, I needed the, the motor to actually spin the material. Uh, it, it kept bogging down. Anyway, so I'm going to make a new one of these, I guess. Uh, probably have to throw the old four-way tool post back on uh, to do that job. Hmm. And uh, I don't know, this time I'll probably not make it out of 12L14. I've got some 4000 series still. Uh, in stock, I think some 41, it's either 4100 or 4300, I can't remember. Um, I won't be able to heat treat it because, frankly, I don't know anything about heat treating. But, uh, yeah, held up great for two or three years. And and it didn't die, um, you know, it died because I over-tightened it. I, I was spinning this nut down, and I kept thinking, man, that feels like it's slipping. And sure enough, uh, that was the result. Anyway. Um, I'll go ahead and roll that other footage in and I'll see you in the next video.